Welcome to Cisco ACI Fabric Upgrade. What we will do in this video, we will first upload the images to APIC. Then we will go and upgrade the APIC cluster. Um, after that, we will create a um, switch group. And finally, we will go and upgrade the switch group. Let's dive in. Welcome to APIC interface. This is version four. I will also show you um, the interface for version six as well. Here, uh, we first need to go to admin menu and from the admin menu, uh, we will go to firmware. And here, as you can see, we can see the version of controller, version of nodes, virtual node, and the storage capacity of the APIC. We have a bunch of menus here. Here is the infrastructure. This is uh, when we want to start the upgrade process. We will come here first for the controller and then for the nodes. Let's start with the uploading the image to APIC. We will click here, add firmware to APIC. You can choose local or you can choose remote, like FTP, SFTP. And in this case, I choose the local file. Wait for image upload. This is fast forward, definitely. It will take around I don't know, a couple of minutes, like 10 minutes or something. Then we have to upload the firmware image. This belongs to the Nexus 9 case. Wait for a couple of seconds, a couple of refresh. But technically it will take around 10 minutes. So step one is done. Uh, let's go to step two, which is upgrade the controller. Here in, in my, I don't have a cluster, have only one APIC. Choose the schedule controller upgrade. Then let's select the target version. And then um, no worries about this uh, warning message. And then upgrade the start time is now. Um, always pay attention to install the stage. Now is checking the controller health and um, just wait for a couple of seconds in this video. But, um, you know, in production, it takes around, uh, depends on your um, APIC model, but it takes around uh, half an hour. So now it's going to perform upgrade. This is good. Let's continue with APIC version six, which is the latest version at this time. Um, almost same thing, but the interface is much more smoother and uh, I really love the interface. Better wizard, better workflows. Uh, here I have three controller and then let's go to the image. Here uh, we choose action and add firmware. So we have the option for secure copy, HTTP and local. And again, in this case, I have my local file. So I will choose the uh, browse and then select the file. Okay, let's go to upgrade the controller. Okay, here we have the setup upgrade. Then this is kind of a um, very nice wizard. We have a regular upgrade here and also we have uh, the software maintenance in case of SMU upgrade. You can choose um, your um, type of upgrade if it's regular, if it's software maintenance. And then, uh, or if you want to uninstall something, you will select your firmware and then go for the next step. There is one other important information here. So I definitely want to talk about it. This is a pick software upgrade or downgrade support matrix. If you want to upgrade something like one version to another and you have to check it here to make sure the direct path is okay or not uh, especially if you are using your uh, like older version in your environment and you want to upgrade to newer version i definitely recommend to come here and check for uh, upgrade um, list and compatibility now we can hit on next and after that the upgrade of the ap cluster begins very important step here we have to define switch group. 
The purpose of creating switch group is to gain the maximum resiliency. We may not face any outage during the upgrade of the fabric. What we are trying to do is we have to create different groups, different switch groups, and we will upgrade once at a time. According to this scenario that I have, we have leaf one and leaf two, and also we have spine one and spine two. Leaf one and leaf two, they are part of VPC. And, and, and I will also explain what will happen if my switch, my leaf is like an orphan switch. In that scenario, definitely we will face outage. We will, we will talk about that um, in a few seconds. Okay, let's talk about leaf one and leaf two. So what I try to do is I will create two groups. I can create one group odd and then the other group even, and then I will upgrade once at a time. Imagine with that scenario, leaf one and leaf two are part of the VPC. Now we create an odd group. I put leaf one and a spine one in that odd group. And now look at the upgrade. Okay. We know that during the upgrade, we have the reboot, but our servers, they are connected to the VPC pair. So they are connected to leaf one and leaf two. So still leaf two and spine two can take care of the fabric. We may not face any outage during the upgrade of uh, um, odd groups. Now let's go to the next step, which is creating another group called even group. Now we can put leaf two and spine two in even group. In that case, if they are going for reboot, we still have leaf one and spine one. This is the maximum uh, resiliency and this is the best practice. But in case that in your environment, you have like, I don't know, like a border switch or any orphan switch and your server is connected to that orphan during the reboot or during the upgrade, uh, you will definitely face the outage. You have to consider that and you have to take care about that. Um, now let's go back to our uh, version four um, APIC and then schedule for node upgrade. And this time I can create an upgrade group and name it uh, odd. Then I have to select the target firmware version, which is um, 7W. Uh, we have the option for run mode and upgrade start mode. If you want to do it later time, you can have the scheduler, but we, we will definitely do now at uh, this time. So node selection, I choose manual and I choose leaf one, leaf three and spine one all at once. Okay. And then I can go for validation. This is one group. And I will go for submit. Fast forward. Um, upgrade is done. Everything looks good. It takes around one hour. It depends on your hardware, but it takes around one hour. Now for the next group, which is even group, same thing select the target version and now um, add node. Now I have leaf two and the spine two validate, submit and done. Okay. We upgraded the APIC cluster and now we are finished with upgrading all nodes in the fabric. Um, the job is done. I just need to show you how does it look like and uh, version five and version six. So let's jump to version six. So in the version six, definitely we have a different um, GUI and then, but the same concept. We have uh, created two groups here, odd and even. And in each group we have one leaf and one spine and the other uh, even group also, we have one leaf and one spine and that's it. Okay, that was great. We have done the ACI fabric upgrade in this video and I really want to thank you for watching and please keep learning and I really hope that we see each other soon in the next video.